Good afternoon, Mr. CJ. Look, Bubba. See, it ain't nothing under there. Look, look at Mommy. See, get out of there. Look at Mama. Say hi, everybody. Yeah. Say hi, Bubba. You gonna say hello to everybody? You gonna say hi? Say hi. So I've just been outside, yeah. Hey everybody, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's Lifestyles. And y'all, I am just full of fall, y'all. You know, I decorated for fall. If y'all didn't see, I'm gonna show you. I'm all decorated up for fall, y'all. And I'm just feeling the fall vibe right now. I got this haul to do with y'all. It is beautiful outside. So let's get to it. I got a haul for y'all. It's a grocery haul, which I know, you know, that's not the most interesting. But I just wanted to show y'all what I picked up. Because my husband went to the regular grocery store and he went to um, our local, we have a flea market that has an Amish market in it. And oh my God, you guys, the Amish market has the best food. So we like to pick it up on the weekends. Okay, they sell everything, you guys. They sell Oh my God, they, they make their own turkey bacon. They make, oh God, they make their own pickles. Everything, it's just, everything they make is good. But anyway, so let's start off with the Amish market, okay? Um, let's see, the first thing hubby picked up, and this is something they are known for and something my family loves. This is their chicken salad. Oh my God, you guys, you want some good chicken salad? This is the best. Um, they call it Creative Kitchen LLC, and this was $9.34 for one pound. You guys, the best chicken salad. I would pay $20 for this with some crackers or some chips. Everything, okay? Everything. I love good chicken salad, and they, they make the best. They make the best. I'm not even going to lie. So that's one container of the chicken salad. Um, we, we got another smaller container. This is probably like a half a pound because my daughters don't live with us, but they love the chicken salad too. So they asked their father to get them a container of chicken salad. So we got them the smaller container. The bigger one is for us. And the smaller one was $5 and 86 cents. Um, we then picked up the seafood medley. Now we've never tried this. But a friend of ours who goes to the market said that their seafood medley was really good also. So hubby picked this up. This says 0.68 pounds and this was $10.19. We will be trying this out. I'll let you guys know if it was good. I'm pretty sure it's good. I've never had hardly anything that the Amish make at their market that's not good. They can really cook. Okay, this is, hubby also picked up some coleslaw. This was only $2.79. Really good coleslaw. So that's what we picked up from the Amish market. Now, we did pick up... Oh, move that out of the way. We did pick up their fruit medley. We always get a fruit medley from them. You get these fruits, and you can pick. They have different kinds. This one has blueberries, um, pineapple, strawberry. Ooh, yummy. All different, but... The thing about it is, the fruit is really good and fresh, okay? This was $7.19 for like, I guess, a pound. Yes, ooh, you guys. Let me tell you what tops it off is this right here. This is the strawberry fruit dip. You guys, this is delectable. And I'm talking delectable. Take some of this fruit, dip it in this dip. You will be in love, in love. I'm serious. So we always get this dip. It's real creamy. I don't know what they, I don't know how they make this. Um, it's very, very creamy and good and I love it. So the big container with that on top is ours, okay? <laughs> now, my daughters love it also and they're coming over this weekend. So we bought them a separate container because we're not giving a bars. And this one just has the pineapples, um, the strawberries. Yeah, the pineapples, the strawberries, the grapes. And then it's got a little container of the dip in the middle. And that was for $6.79. I'm telling you guys, if you open this up, 
you will eat the entire container with this dip. It's so good. I don't know how good it is for you, but it's good. So we picked those up. So that's everything that we got from the Amish market. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm telling a story. They also make cakes, you guys. Okay, look at this cake. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Carrot cake slice, two dollars and seventy-five cent. Their cakes are so good, homemade. Yum, yum, yum. So we got carrot cake. Then hubby picked up the hot milk cake slice. Oh my god! Now I've never tried this one. It looks like just a pound cake, but I don't know. Um, and we are going to try this. $2.75. It looks yummy and yummy. And we're going to try it. Okay, I hope you got some limes. And some juicy fruit girl he probably just picked up. <laughs> Who knows where you got that from, y'all, okay? So, <clears throat> this is everything that we got from the Amish market. All right, now let me move on to the regular grocery store. Now, hubby stopped at the commissary, which, as I've told you guys in the past, is the military grocery store. We used to get real good uh, prices on our meats. So let's get into it. Now, we were running out of our veggies. We love to have either fresh veggies or frozen. So hubby picked up the frozen. Um, these are butter beans. You know, they come frozen. This is 12 ounces. We picked those up. Um, he picked up some green giant Brussels sprouts seasoned. Yummy, yummy. And this is, uh, what, nine ounces? These are microwavable, looks like, you guys. And then we picked up some of the Pick Sweet cut corn. Pick, Pick Sweet always has good prices, if you guys will notice. I love to see this brand because they always got good prices. Um, this is 12 ounces. He picked up some of the baby llamas. I love llama beans, y'all. Um, 12 ounces. And we picked up some of the Deluxe Baby Broccoli Florets. And that's 10 ounces. So this will cover us for some veggies for a while. Put those down. All right. We also picked up a dozen of eggs. My husband loves Eglin's best. If he can get these, he will buy them. Um, we have maybe, uh, we don't have that many eggs left in the refrigerator. So he picked these up. <clears throat> now he has fallen in love with this, you guys. This kind oatmeal protein. Um, this is the caramel almond. He's almost eaten. We had another box of these, you guys. We only have three left. Um, he basically takes the packs out and takes them to work with him, and then he'll make his oatmeal at work. But he loves this kind. I mean, kind. Huh? He loves this this uh, oatmeal. It's really, really good. Um, just as ingredients you can see and pronounce. Um... You know, and it looks like, I guess it's supposed to be pretty good for you guys. Here's the nutritional facts. Just so you guys can see the rundown. Okay. So, pick that up. Um, let's get into the meats, you guys. Let's go, let's go to the meats. Um, we try to find meats that are good prices. Um, this is skirt steak. You know, skirt steak isn't the best cut, but it always is good price. If you can get it tender enough and season it well, you'll have a good piece of meat. So we got choice skirt steak. Uh, this is 0.55 pound, $3.94. Not bad. We will basically probably season this up, make sure it's really good tender. Cut it into slices. This is what I say about meats. You can stretch your meats out really far. And one of my girlfriends taught me this. Um, my husband, actually she's married to my husband's cousin. She will usually serve steak, but instead of serving the whole steak when there's like a lot of people over, she'll cut the steak on the grain into slices so that there's meat for everybody. And then you have your veggies and everything, and it stretches it. So try that sometime, you guys. Um, they always have good prices on pork chops at the commissary. Um, this is the pork loin assorted. Let's see. This is 2.17 pounds for $4.95. That is a good deal. So we picked up some pork chops. Um, hubby picked up some drumsticks, which he's already talking about cooking tonight. Um, he's going to grill today because the kids are coming over. Looks like they were like $2.36, you guys, I believe. I have the receipt here, so we'll check it out. 
but he picked up this pack of legs by Purdue. Um, then he picked up some of these cod, Gordon's cod fish fillets. You get four in the pack. Okay, not bad. So let me move these back around, y'all. Okay, then we are avid sausage lovers, okay? So hubby picked up this Eckridge Beef Smoked Sausage Skinless. Yummy, yummy. You know that's probably getting grilled, you guys, okay? Uh, he picked up two of those. And then this is our favorite, favorite type of sauce. These Jacksonville, the Johnsonville Italian sauces, the mild. These are really, really good, you guys. Grilled, I don't care if you grill them, I don't care if you put them in a pan. They are very, very tasty. Um, so we usually cook these with hot dogs. If we grill them, we do these with hot dogs. Yummy. Um, what else have we got, you guys? Okay, hubby picked up some hot dog, um, hot dog rolls. These are the, what is it, 647 by Schmidt. They're supposed to be low in something. I, I can't remember, but free from artificial preservatives, colors, flavors, and high fructose corn syrup. 80 calories, 0 grams trans fat, 2 grams total sugar, and excellent source of fiber. Nine times the fiber. Okay, 647. So we got those for our hot dogs and our sausages. Now, we had seen this, but we never bought it. This is the King's Hawaiian Sliced Honey Wheat Bread. Now, I thought they just made rolls, right? But they've got the bread. Oh, my. It's a smaller pack, but I bet this is just so good. So, we're going to try this out. And we've tried these before. They're really, really good, but they are not cheap, you guys. These are the Dave's, um, Dave's Killer Bread. Now, they have the bread, but these are the bagels. Um, these are the organic bagels, epic everything, the everything bagel. It's 13 grams of protein, killer topping, 6.8 milligram. I don't know what all that says, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I know they're good, and they're not as bad for me. Um, so, you know, here's some of the information. So we picked those up because I had completely run out of bagels. Now, I'm going to Dollar Tree tomorrow. Uh, you guys, so if I see any more of their bagels, which I love, I will pick those up too. You'll probably see them in a haul. Um, we got some more of the Evermore um, alkaline water. Love these. This comes as a four-pack. Um, hubby picked up some of his Schweppes Zero Sugar Tonic Water. And then he also picked up, now he loves these. This is the Core Power. Um, this is high-protein milkshake. This is the Elite Strawberry. Now, we've never seen the strawberry, so he's really excited about this. Um, so he got like four of those. Um, I showed you guys the kinds. We picked up the Uts Party Size. These are gonna be yummy, yummy, either with our hot dogs and everything when we're barbecuing, or you can use these with your dip, with your chicken salad, you know, whatever you wanna use them with. I got some guacamole dip in there, you guys. Ooh, I love a good Uts chip. We picked up some bananas. I love my bananas when they still got the green on them, you guys. Got those. So that is, I'm trying to see. That's about it. <clears throat> Let's look at our receipt. I was going to look at the receipt for something, you guys. And I would have forgot the pricing already. Actually, I can see better with my glasses off, you guys. So let me take my glasses off. Let's see what we got here, okay? Let's see, the beef, that was the skirt steak was $3.94. The water, the Evermore water, the alkaline water, the 64 ounce four pack was $7.58. The strawberry elite, um, the protein drinks was uh, three at $2.33 each. So they were $2.33 each, three was $6.99. The tonic was $1.48. He did pick up one vanilla protein drink, and that was $2.48 by itself. The Carb Smart, the hot dog rolls were $2.78. The, um, the Hawaiian bread was $3.78. The Everything Bagels, the Dave's Killer Bread, um, those were $4.68. The Uts for 
The eggs, the Eglin Best eggs were $2.44. The frit, uh, cod filet was $7.52. The lima beans were $1.93. The butter beans were $1.78. The Brussels sprouts were $1.51. The cut corn was $1.32. And the broccoli florets were $1.76. Okay, um, and let's see what else we got here. The hot cereal, uh, the kind oatmeal. Let's see, the hot cereal was $3.68. The pork loin, those were the pork chops, they were $4.95. The chicken drumsticks were $2.36. Told you guys, that was such a good deal. Uh, the prepackaged meat, the sausage, the beef was $5. Well, they were two at $2.59 each, $5.18. The Italian sausage was $4.98. The yellow bananas were $1.61. So everything came to $78.07. They always charge you a surcharge at the commissary of $3.90. The total was $81.97, and that was for 25 items. So I will show you guys how that comes out. Uh, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. To all my new subscribers, I do appreciate you. Hello, how you doing? Um, to all my ride or dies, you know I love y'all. Thank you for coming back and checking me out. Um, I'm about to just get some things done tomorrow, Saturday. We made it, y'all. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to do a little bit of shopping, so there'll be some hauling. So be on the lookout for, I know, a Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to go to Home Goods and see if I can find some goodies uh, at Home Goods that I can bring back and do a haul. Looking for some Ray Dunn Alice in uh, Wonderland. Um, and that's about it, you guys. I know they have some new Ray Dunn. Um, they did put out, um, oh man, Tom and Jerry. I think they put out a new Tom and Jerry mug and I'm on the lookout for that. So I'll be talking at you guys later. Lady C has got to go. CJ, you want to say bye-bye? CJ says bye-bye now. Say bye-bye, baby. Yeah, say bye-bye to everybody. He's saying bye-bye, y'all. I have got to go. Love y'all. Bye-bye now.